majestical name. Yea, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. Welcome again to all my Facebook friends and family out there. Just another exciting moment. This is 60 minutes of glory where the word of God comes alive. Where all things are possible. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And today I'm speaking to you on a topic that I've been to as such as I have, I give unto you. Such as I have, I give unto you. And the first Bible reading is taken from the book of Proverbs 18, verse 16. A man give, make room for him and bring him before great men. And the second Bible reading that I will read just to build a platform for this message is taken from the book of Kings, Second Kings 2, reading from verse 8 to 14. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the water and they were divided ita and tita. So that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah, glory to God, asked, What shall I do for thee before I be taken away from thee? And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me and he said thou as asked a hard thing nevertheless if thou see me when i'm taken from thee it shall be so unto thee but if not it shall not be so and it came to pass as they still went on and talk that behold there appear a chariot of fire and asses of fire, and part them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven, and Elijah saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the assman thereof, and he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes, and rent them in two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the water and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when your house so had smitten the water, they parted it and tita. And Elijah, Elisha went over. Such as I have, I give unto thee. First and foremost, you got to know that you have what you say you have and then you can give amen amen the bible says freely you have received freely give cast out devils heal the sick cleanse the leper and raise the dead this is an exciting career and I love it so much. And I believe it's one of the best career in the world. The Bible said that in his 
presence. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And that is right on the Fletcher forevermore. He said he will make us joyful in his house of prayer. Glory to God. Bless his holy name. Praise God, praise God. For by strength, no man shall prevail. Yes, indeed, for this indeed is not the work of man, but the work of God. For as it is written, we are fellow workers, we are co laborers with God. Hallelujah. We are in partnership with him in this great work of salvation. What do I mean for without him? Granting the miracles, the signs, and the wonders, I cannot do it. Glory to his marvelous name. That's why I say it's not by might. It is not by power. But by my spirit say yet the Lord, it is by the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. And the Bible said, and you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. Did you hear what I said just a while ago? You shall receive Power, when the Holy Ghost shall come up on you, Sister Pallet, you shall receive power. When the Holy Ghost shall come up on you, Sister Maria Massey, you shall receive power. When the Holy Ghost has come up on you, Brother O'Brien, you shall receive power. When the Holy Ghost shall come up on you, I say such. As I have, I give unto you. And we are go back into the word of God again. And this time around we are looking in the book of St. Matthew 9. Hallelujah. And we are reading from verse 1 to 7. St. Matthew 9. And we are reading from verse 1 to 7. Bless his holy and awesome name. I'm so excited to communicate the word. Because I know without a shadow of a doubt every time the word is being communicated, something takes place. Something happened. Mm -hmm -hmm. And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their feet, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. And behold, certain of the scribe said within themselves, This man blaspheme. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, We for think ye evil in your heart. For whether it is easier to say thy sins be forgiven thee are to say, Arise and walk. But that you may know, not the Son of Man have power on earth to forgive sin. Then said he to the sick of the palsy, Arise. Take up thy bed and go in to thine house. And he arose and departed to his house. But when the multitude saw, when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men, such as I have. I give unto thee. Glory to his marvelous name. I think I need to read another Bible text. Just to back up my argument. We are going into the book of a 